Hi everyone, welcome back to Funston TV. This is Mai. Today I wanted to share with you a review of my all-time favorite fragrance for women and it's the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I've been using this fragrance for years and years. I don't even remember since when. I think I've had like six or seven bottles of this. I absolutely love it. It's the perfume that I keep on purchasing and I think it's really my signature fragrance. I just think it smells so good. So just to give you a bit of background on this fragrance, it launched in uh, 2001 by Dolce & Gabbana. So it's been out for 15 years already and it's an award-winning fragrance. It won a lot of different beauty awards. Uh, it's been in Allure magazines as one of the top fragrances. It's a bestseller on Sephora. It's been years that it's a bestseller. It's very popular and the reason for it is because it is so... So this perfume has even had its own um, exhibition at the Museum of Arts and Design in New York as one of the century's most groundbreaking scents. So just to give you a bit of background on this uh, fragrance, they say it represents the aroma of sparkling summer days yielding to evocative evenings of warm flesh and roused ardor. They describe a story in which man meets woman. The designers are extremely proud of Light Blue's legacy, which includes several perfume awards. So again, this fragrance launched in 2001 and the, the cologne for men subsequently launched in 2007 and then starting in 2012 each year they released a special summer edition. They had for example uh, Summer in Portofino, I think it was called, no, Dreaming in Portofino, Living Stromboli, Escape to Panarea, um, they had Discover Volcano for men, they had, last year's was Sunset in Selena. So, they always have different fragrances and special editions like that for summer. I've never personally liked them that much. I smelled them briefly in the store, but it always adds a bit of uh, sweetness to the scent and warmth that I'm not particularly a fan of, so I always go back to this one. So the inspiration of uh, the designers behind this perfume was to recreate the essence of uh, Sicily. So they wanted something that had the sensual aromas of the Mediterranean, so that's how they came up with the scents in here. So the head notes in this is uh, tart Granny Smith apple, and you can really smell it. It's really fresh and tart. So apparently they, they mixed that Granny Smith apple to Delta Mucinone, which is the scent of human skin. Uh, maybe that's why the sexiness comes from that. It's very sensual and this fragrance is supposed to tell a love story. Then there's obviously some woody notes uh, and natural cedars. So what it has in it, it has a natural Sicilian lemon peel essence. If you're not familiar with it, uh, Sicily is very popular for its lemons. So there's lemons, there's uh, apple, bluebell as top notes. So immediately you smell a lot of freshness from it and then the, the heart notes, you get bamboo, jasmine and white rose. So it's going to deepen up and smell a lot more um, feminine and sexier and gets more woody in the end. And then the base notes are citron wood, amber and musk. So the top notes are really really fresh and then it's going to deepen up again and become more and more sensual and deep but never it doesn't really really smell musky but it smells a bit warmer and it really transforms with the chemistry of your own skin to, to create something absolutely beautiful. When it lingers on the day after it stays really long. Uh, I think I can get a good six to eight hour wear out of it but I personally have been wearing it for so long that sometimes I don't even smell it on myself so sometimes I have to take breaks for a few days before using it again. So on the Sephora website they describe it as a stunning perfume, overwhelming and irresistible like the joy of living. The scent is surprisingly colored with the liveliness of Sicilian citron, the happiness of Granny Smith apple and the spontaneity of bluebells. Feminine and resolute notes are expressed with the intensity of jasmine, the freshness of bamboo, and the charm of white rose. The deep and true base embodies the character of cedarwood, the fullness of amber, and the embrace of musk. So they also say about this fragrance that it's the joy of living, the light blue Mediterranean life. Rediscover the original celebration of central Mediterranean style, capturing sun-drenched summer days and dazzling nights, this colorful, fresh, floral, fruity scent reflects the sexiness of Mediterranean lifestyle. So that is really what it evokes. It evokes summer and liveliness. It's feminine at the same time, but it's not overly powering. It's not too sweet. It's not too floral. It's not too fruity. It's just 
it's fresh and it's bright and it's fun. And at the same time, it's very sexy, it's elegant, it's timeless. I just absolutely love this scent. So the style of this perfume, they call it deep and true. I don't like overly sweet perfumes. I don't like overly florally perfumes. This is fresh, it's citrusy, it's fruity. It's just beautiful. I think it would fit so many women. I strongly, strongly suggest it. And I recently got um, a 200 ml bottle. This is the 100 ml that it usually comes in and I was lucky enough to find a 200 ml bottle. And I don't think they sell this everywhere, but I got this at the Duty Free Boutique crossing from Montreal down to uh, the States. So this is really worth it at the Duty Free Boutique. I think this I got for $119, whereas this is about that price at Sephora. So this price you get for everything tax and everything included and you get the double of what you get there. So really worth it to consider if ever you're planning on driving down from Montreal to the States this summer. So that is it for my review of this perfume. Again, this is my all-time favorite perfume. It's been out for so long and it's very still very popular for a reason, according to me. So I really strongly suggest that you give it a try. Just go into a store and ask for a sample. Try it on your skin. You won't regret it. Of course, it depends on personal taste in the end, but it's really popular for a reason. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below what is your favorite fragrance for women. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bless you. Good, it's even...